Hello folks, it's Friday. We are here at Barnstable Municipal Airport in Hyannis where there's a special treat. We have the Wings of Freedom tour where there's some World War II uh, aircraft here uh, and folks are coming in to check these out. You can go inside of them. You can learn a little history. And we're here with Jamie. Uh, she's the coordinator of the Wings of Freedom tour here for the Collings Foundation. Jamie, what can you tell us about uh, this display here uh, and how long is it going to be running? Well, we're here today until 5 and we're going to be here from 9 to 5 Saturday and Sunday. Um, this is really close to our home office and so we're based out of Stowe, Massachusetts, so we're glad to be back. We come back every year. Um, we welcome you guys to come out here. It's $15 for adults, $5 for kids. World War II veterans are free and that's for walkthrough tours of our aircraft. But if you're really adventurous, you can go for a flight. So my favorite aircraft is right over here. That's a P-51 Mustang. It's actually a TF-51 by Temco. It's a D model. It was used in the West Virginia Air National Guard in the 1950s. It's full dual control, so if you decide to go for a flight in it, you get to fly the aircraft with the instructor, go out, do loops, rolls, anything else you could think of within reason, put it in your logbook. It's pretty exciting. It's my favorite thing. Um, and it's new. I mean, it's been with us only about a year and a half, so it's still quite fresh. It's $2,200 for 30 minutes and $3,200 for an hour of flight instruction. And then right behind me is the most popular aircraft on the tour. It's a B-17 Flying Fortress built by Boeing. Everybody knows it from Memphis Bell, 12 o'clock high, the war lover. Um, it's really awesome. It looks beautiful. It flies better than it looks. It's, it's probably our most, mo by far, our most popular aircraft out here. If you do a flight in that, it's a half hour. It's $450. You get to roam throughout the aircraft during the flight. And then right down at the end there is a B-25 Mitchell. That's built by North American. And um, that one, if you've seen 30 Seconds Over Tokyo, you've probably seen about a dozen of those take off from the USS Hornet aircraft carrier with Jimmy Doolittle. So it's pretty amazing. It's $400 for a half hour flight. And if we're really lucky, the B-24 is going to make it in this evening. It'll be here tomorrow on display. That's a B-24 Liberator. It's the only one left flying in the entire world. They built almost 20,000 and this is the only flying example and maybe there are probably 12 airframes left in existence and if you'd like to go for a flight on that once it does get here, that one's also $450 for a half hour flight. It's a World War II veteran. It flew in the South Pacific so it's actually seen action where our other ones were like trainers and such uh, but we'd like you to come out here. The weather looks fantastic. We're glad to be back in Massachusetts and it's going to be super fun so hope to see you here. That's awesome. Now, uh, this is a pretty cool event because you guys uh, got families, you have veterans, they come out here and they, they share stories, they talk about their experiences in the military. Oh, yeah. is, is this right? Tell us about this. Absolutely. You know, uh, our youngest veterans are going to be 91, 92 or so, so a lot of people come out are actually family members. So if you see our planes, you're going to see names written down the sides of them, uh, or at least on the B-17 and the 24. Uh, a lot of people have sponsored the aircraft in the name of their loved ones that have flown on these. So it's basically a flying memorial. More or less, this is a museum, but it means a lot to those family members and when we get the vets out here we hope that maybe we'll be lucky enough the weather will be good they'll put up a chair underneath the wing and tell some stories and that kind of goes back to why I do this and why a lot of our folks on the tour do this we're almost all volunteers um, it's because it, we really want to connect kids with those veterans before we lose the last of the vets so that their legacy can continue to live on even when we don't have any more so in the past you'll see someone come out here they'll record you know the stories that the veterans telling and it gets ar archived away at the end of the day nobody's ever gonna hear it again but if you get the kids out here like you're essentially given the past a future because the kids will hear those stories and then they'll tell it to their own kids in 10 or 20 years and that's what we do this for I mean this is educational it's it's more than a museum it's like a whole experience and if you're 4 or 94 there's something out here for you to do so I love this I love these planes they're my family I live with them all year long and uh, speaking of that I mean we've been doing this since 1989 uh, we do this non-stop for about 10 or 11 months out of the year uh, we don't take any days off and every Monday Wednesday Friday we move to a new city so it's like 40 states 120 cities that we might visit during the year and we've been doing this for almost 30 years now so uh, it's it's I mean we have to be devoted and we truly love this and we hope everybody else comes out here and they take that away with them you know that they that they become attached to these aircraft and they make sure they're still flying in, in another decade and not just on a video on the internet but in real life I want you to see a B-24 flying I want you to be able to come out and walk through the 17 and you know go take a flight lesson in the Mustang if you want so I don't know this is like the greatest thing ever so <laughs> yeah this is really cool thanks so much for telling yeah. us hey do you mind uh, taking a little walk with us um, sure. over to the B-17 17 on the, on the outside here. One of the cool things about these aircrafts is some of the uh, decals and some of uh, what you can see on these uh, from the outside. Tell us uh, what's, what's here over on the, uh, the B-17. This is the nose art for our B-17. It's called 909, which are the last three digits of the serial number. Uh, this, it didn't actually have a name during the war, and it just kept coming back every single time, and so it just kind of got called its serial number, and then the name stuck 909. And then uh, you see all those bombs represent different bombing missions. 
mission, and like the B represents a mission that was like Berlin and such like that. Um, and then there's total number of how many missions they had accomplished. And then the swastikas are aerial kills, and the one with the black outline represents a confirmed kill, whereas the other ones, you never know. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, I really like uh, our other nose art down there, which is on the Mitchell. That's actually Hedy Lamar's character, Tonda Leo, which the aircraft's named after. Uh, there's a character from a movie that takes place in the South Pacific where that aircraft was really prevalent, obviously. And then, uh, of course, the coolest one out there is Two Loose Nuts because obviously it's a two-seater. So, <laughs> it's a pun. And it's got the two nuts on the side. And I'm usually one of the two nuts, without a doubt. <laughs> but anyways, um, they're, they're all really unique planes. And I know our old Mustang had a little bit more character, but I mean, this one, it's just beautiful. It's, it's awesome. I love everything about it. And as soon as the B-24 gets here, you get to check that one out. And I'm really hoping it's going to come in soon. Hopefully in the next hour or two. Great, great. We have some audience members asking, uh, just to repeat how long you guys are going to be here. This is going to be till, through Sunday, um, 9 to yep. 5? Today until 5 o'clock. At 5 o'clock, we will launch the B-17. Generally, the B-17 and the B-24 fly at 9 and 5 before and after our walkthrough tours. So we're supposed to be open from 9 to 5 the next two days. However, if we have flights in the morning, we don't open until the flights have completed. But you're welcome to come out and you can stand along the flight line and watch the aircraft taking off. And as soon as the plane comes back, you can actually tour them. And then uh, we'll be doing flights with the B-25 and the Mustang all day long both days. But the 24 and the 17, they only fly in the morning the afternoon because you can't walk through them if they're flying. <laughs> and the walkthrough tours are going on all the time. Um, so if you come out here, you know, we're a 501c3. You're supporting a good cause. It's a museum. It's a donation to us. So it's partially tax deductible. And um, we just hope we get a lot of people out here, you know, before the weather gets ugly or something like that. And then, you know, on top of that, if you're anywhere nearby, we have a couple more stops in this state. We're going to go to Beverly. We're going to go to Plymouth. We're going to go to Worcester. And Worcester is really close to our headquarters. And we'll have even more planes out there that you can check out, like the Corsair and maybe the Sky Raider and stuff like that, which is really awesome. And you can always visit our headquarters because we're going to be having a huge event in October, which is the Battle for the Airfield. We're going to have tanks out there, reenactors, and a lot of other World War II aircraft flying around. You just got to go to the website, which is CollingsFoundation.org to see all that kind of stuff. Great, and folks can also get pricing uh, and, and timing details at Collins Foundation's website as well. Absolutely. The phone number to book a flight and all of our hours and our locations and all of our upcoming stops, they're, everything is on there. Well, thanks so much for giving us a rundown of what's going on here. We're going to take a little spin and show some folks uh, what these uh, planes look like up close, but we really appreciate it, Jamie. Yeah, and, awesome. Uh, thanks again. Yeah, hope to see you guys out here. Super. Bye-bye. Oh, man, folks, this is a treat. Again, if you're just joining us, we're here at Barnstable Municipal Airport in Hyannis. This is Jason Collins for the Cape Cod Times. And uh, we're at the Wings of Freedom tour where we got some World War II uh, planes here on display. You can go inside of them. You can check out uh, these beautiful aircraft. Uh, here's a B-17. And uh, you can check out uh, more information about uh, the tours that they're giving here. You can come check them out for $15 for adults and $5 for children this weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday from 9 to 5. We're walking under the wing of the B-17 now, going to check out um, the Mitchell over here. Um, you can check out the Cape Cod Times website, capecodtimes.com slash entertainment. We have an article about these planes and uh, this tour here. They're going to be here through this weekend. Here's the North American B-25 Mitchell. Very beautiful silver aircraft here. Check it out. Really neat. This is, as Jamie said, she was the coordinator of the uh, Wings of Freedom tour. This is, really is a, uh, a living museum here um, where folks can actually see and touch uh, these aircraft that uh, played a great role in the nation's military history. There's the B-17. Let's see if we can get closer and get on the other side. All right, we're with the B-17, and let's kind of check out what it looks like on the inside. This is very neat. If you love history, if you love planes, you're going to want to come in here, 
check out the inside of one of these impressive aircraft that played significant role in World War II. Very cool. Again, this is Jason Colness from the Cape Cod Times. We're at the Wings of Freedom Tour at Barnstable Municipal Airport to check out three vintage World War II aircraft they've got here. Now under the B-17, very cool. All right, folks, if you're just joining us, this is the Cape Cod Times broadcasting live on Facebook, where we're here at the Wings of Freedom tour here at Barnstable Municipal Airport. They've got three World War II aircrafts here for people to tour and check out. They come here to the Cape every September, and uh, people are just loving it, bringing their families, bringing their kids, sharing stories, military history checking out some very impressive aircraft. This is the famous B-17. special treat here and seeing one of these World War II planes called Warbirds in the air. A lot of excitement here at Barnesville Municipal Airport. Folks want to get pictures and videos of this. It's a uh, 
unique opportunity. Folks, thanks for joining us. We're broadcasting live here with the Cape Cod Times. No, they're pretty much just on Facebook where we're checking out some World War II planes, often called warbirds here. There's three of them right now here at Barnstable Municipal Airport. And one is about to take off. It's out of our view for now, folks, but come on down this weekend. They'll be here from 9 to 5. It's $15 for adults to come check these out, $5 for children. You can learn so much more about these vintage aircraft. Played a key role in World War II. We've got a good-sized crowd here at Barcelona Municipal Airport in Hyannis. 
Uh, you can find out more details about how long uh, these planes will be here and the prices at uh, capecottimes.com slash entertainment. We have an article about this or on the Collings Foundation website. Soon they'll be wrapping up this tour for the day here at Barnes Municipal Airport. Um, check out our Facebook page for a replay of this video, which has an interview with Jamie. She's one of the coordinators. She offered a lot of great history. And be sure to come on down here this weekend if you're interested in history and uh, aircraft. Uh, this is perfect for you. Thanks again. This is Jason Colmos from the Cape Cod Times signing off live here on Facebook. Have a great weekend.